one of the seemingly negatives of this government, given its background, a political party created according to the philosophy of Pa Grant and Dankwa and others, mm -hmm. property owning democracy, mm -hmm. which believes that local people are as competent as mm -hmm. foreigners. Mm -hmm. That then comes through the Buzia regime mm -hmm. and comes under Kofor, who declares a golden age of business, mm -hmm. comes into power, and seven indigenous banks are gone down, taking off the scene. First of all, no prosecutions have occurred. Mm -hmm. The people have lost their jobs. Mm -hmm. and, and the concern really is, if Bank X was paying these 1,000 people every day, how does government take over and say, I cannot pay them? So many people have lost their jobs at the different tiers. Couldn't it have been done another way to, to pluck out the culprits and keep the people working, keep the enterprise working, keep the brand working, especially as finance? This has been talked about both by MPP opponents and some analysts as a very sorry point within the Akufuado administration. Indigenous businesses have been lost. Let me just attempt to answer this with a quote from the Bank of Ghana, mm -hmm. press release four weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Just part of it. It says, we have no evidence on record to show that the previous management took steps to mitigate the risk of ultimate failure of these institutions as it was required to do under the Banks and Specialized Deposit Tech Institutions Act 2016, Act 930, which came into effect as far back as September 2016. In the face of the, of the asset quality review, mm -hmm. now you listen, so UT Bank and Capital Bank were among the banks that were found to be insolvent after the May 2015 and June 2016 asset quality review. Mm -hmm. Okay. The two banks had ample opportunity of the AQR to raise the needed capital to restore capital adequacy to the regulatory minimum, but failed to do that. He goes on to say, while under Ghana's ECF program with the IMF, which started in 2015, the IMF provided recommendations on how the banks determined to be distressed under the AQR were to be handled to avert a financial crisis. The then management of the Bank of Ghana failed to implement these actions that would have halted the eventual collapse or a multitude of financial institutions. Now, my, my point is that... But they've only mentioned two of the seven. No, they... they UT and Capital. Yes, but even if you go and read uh, the former President's State of the Nation address in 2016, he accused the Bank of Ghana then Okay. This is John Mohammed's yes, yes. 2016, 2016 State of the Nation. Of, of lapses in, in, in their supervisory role as, as the regulator mm -hmm. of the banking sector, of the financial sector. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think the, this government has not collapsed any banks. But they okay? have? No, they have not collapsed. Bank. Where is, where is UT the bank? banks? Where is Unibank? The where banks were collapsed by a combination of factors. Mm -hmm. Go and ask the depositors of these banks that before they went down, were their checks been on it? Were their checks not been on it? Were their checks been on it? I'm I asking, don't know. I said, we, go we and ask, go and ask the depositors. Were their checks been on it? When they go to the ATM, were they able to take money out all the time? You know. So when you look at the the, the, the problems that were there, then you ask yourself, and all these things were identified mm -hmm. as way back as 2015, yeah. okay? But the solution then was pump them with more money. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. Pump them with more money. And where is that money coming from? The taxpayer. The taxpayer's money. Yes. And then you are pumping them with more money, as we saw with UT, as we saw with Unibank, as we saw with all these banks. And eventually, they still couldn't, couldn't, they didn't have the liquidity. Even to, after you gave them more money. Precisely. Mm -hmm. You know, so, so... But it, they were paying the 1,000 people that, that mm -hmm. Ken Oferata and the Bank of Ghana have put out. UT was paying them. UT was paying they them. They paid their staff. Capital was paying their staff. Now, we, government takes over and yeah. they, they have no, to go home. No, I think, I, think, I think we must be fair to what the facts Mm. Where these banks were insolvent, and I yes. don't, yeah, they were insolvent. I think that's understandable. Yeah, the banks but in their were insolvent, insolvent situation, they were yeah. paying the people. How, there the were staff. staff. There were staff who were not being paid. Mm -hmm. I, I don't want to actually.
pick these banks. But the facts are clear. I don't think any, any of the banks will say that they were in a position to stand on their own two feet. I don't think any of the banks will say no, that. Kofi has said that about UT, that he was expecting it to be put up a video. Have you, have you looked at how that bank was being run? No, I've not, I don't have the expertise yes. in that area. I'm just saying. But I'm, I, know, I listen they, to him. They, they understand that they made mistakes. Mm -hmm. For instance, I can give you just one instance, where there were about five related companies for one client. And that client used three assets to secure three assets. The value of those three assets were nowhere near any of the loans that they were applying for, for five related companies. Same three assets. Yes. And use the same three assets, okay, to secure, to use it as collateral for five related entities. And even that asset, or those assets were not even a quarter the value of the loan. Are you talking about UT, UT Bank? UT Bank, uh, yeah, because you mentioned UT yeah, Bank. I see. Okay, okay. And, but, and it's not like the, the client, and I don't want to mention mm. this, but it's not as if the client took those assets to different banks. We are talking about the same bank. So the okay. supervision of the bank's credit committee failed. Precisely. But you see, the but, bank's... But there has to be prosecution no, in there. No. Shouldn't there be? Well, I, 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 I expect prosecutions to... to Taking very long. I expect... I but expect is that why you close down the bank? You, you can know, take out the people, no, the, the banks. No, the banks close themselves down. The banks close themselves down. And I think what, what government or the Bank of Ghana has done, because, of course, because they needed government to now come in and issue bonds to support the depositors. Mm -hmm. And for just the banks and, 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 um, and the microfinance, we were talking about what? Close to about 3 million depositors. Now, you have a situation. I think the question that one has to ask is, if you had 12 billion CDs as a president, OK, would you use it to rescue banks that they needed or use it to implement your manifesto promises? That's the question you should use. But rescuing no, the, rescuing no, the please, banks please, but connects please. to a lot of people. Yeah. As you say, three no, million but, but, people. But because it was necessary. Yes. Because the 12 billion of, or eventually so 14 12 billion, billion has been used. 11.2 11 billion was used to secure deposit of the banks. We don't even get into that. Then, then DC had a press was, conference where they are challenging that. Four, Did you hear that? Four, Adongo says there's no yeah. evidence that an account was debited, an account was credited, that he's calling on the Ministry of Finance to show that because he doubts it. Adongo well, is a member of parliament for the... Well, uh, Adongo should doubt his own figures, but that's a different matter. I'm not here to debate Adongo. I've seen a lot of his arguments, and I think... But are there figures to back God these? God There's 11 so billion stuff. Oh, of course there are figures to okay. back these. And there's a credit yes. and a debit. There are figures to back these. Mm -hmm. And I think what you have to realize is that... And, and the figures are even in your, in your budget deficit. Okay. You know, so my whole point is that you have a situation where these banks would have collapsed because what the Bank of Ghana had done was not sustainable. You couldn't just continue pumping money. It's like you are, you are, can you use a basket to go and fetch water? And that's exactly what was happening. You know, so, and I think we'd want our central bank to use our resources for things that are better or things that are, you know, productive. And I think really, if you look at it, let's not even see the banks as collapsing because all these banks would have collapsed. But now all these banks have, have been consoli consolidated in banks that are indigenous, like CBG, which is now, I think, the third largest bank in, in, in Ghana. GCB is stronger. And all these two banks are actually what? They, they're registering profit. At the same time... CBG is registering profit? Absolutely. Profit, the, uh, I think, first half of this year yeah, was about something 457 percent. There's another small matter. You know, so, so really, I think, and you know, we saw it in the, in the U.S., we saw it in Europe. Eventually, even the money that's been spent, whether it's 14 billion, 11.2 billion, 12 billion, or whatever, it is not lost. Apart from the fact that it secures the depositors and it secures 10,000 jobs, okay, some have been lost. Yeah, but but no way yeah, jobs have been lost. But ten thousand, you would have lost all the ten thousand if you. We were don't know that for sure, do we? You know that for because sure you said because, the banks would have collapsed because anyway. they were not in a position.
to do so. They, some they, of them doubt that. Uh, Mwabi, for instance, doubts But they were that. given opportunities. He doubts that. No, but I'm at, saying at, that. In August I'm 2018, saying, he said he was still in a position to continue. He was still in a position. Yes, that's what he I, said. He was know, expecting I, some money. He had shared the documents with the Bank of Ghana, yeah. and they had seen it. And they, they came with policemen to close down I his mean, bank in the look, morning. And, and we don't want to get into, into... Why did they use police we, to do that? We don't want to get into, into, into individual cases. Yeah. But we had even, my firm had clients who were struggling to get their money. But they also the claimed that government owed them. They claimed that there was this um, energy Esla thing where they took money to bring in petroleum products and the CD went up and the tech press uh, portfolio yeah. owed many banks a lot of money. And that was the beginning of the, of when, the when collapse. This, this and government contractors when, when that they had given money to were not paying them. When money. the MPP came into office, there were two billion Debt. There's 2.4 billion debt in the energy sector. Owed to who? Yeah. Owed, owed to who? And a lot of it were owed to BDCs. From banks? And were the banks involved? No, the, by government. ECG and the rest of it. Mm -hmm. by, yeah, by government. VRA and yeah. all of them. They yeah. were not paying for Because really, the doom saw that we had. Yeah. Were the was, banks also affected? The doom saw was not necessarily about capacity. It was um, about money. Money. Did some banks put up their own money and were waiting for these BDCs to be paid to pay them back? Um, banks, if you say you put up your own money, what does that mean? Banks, I mean they gave, banks, they, they give, give credit. They give credit to some of Absolutely. these BDCs. So you had a situation uh, where the BDCs were collapsing. Mm -hmm. The banks that gave the, the loans were collapsing. Because government didn't pay. Bef because the previous government did not pay. Yes. So what decision, government is a what decision was taken? Mm -hmm. Okay, 2017, by mid-2017, over 600 million was paid to the BDCs out of... To pay the banks. Absolutely. So they did pay they the banks. They were bank. paid. And then, up, up to date, I think government also renegotiated the debt mm -hmm. and reduced it to about 1.5 billion. Mm -hmm. And of so far, my last count, they are paid 1.26 billion. You know, so... But look, you, you, had, you have a situation where... What about government contractors who owe these banks? Did you know that there was a review done by the Minister of Finance, mm -hmm. okay, which indicated that out of 11 billion arrears that the previous government left, okay, for, and certificates had been issued for, for, for many of them, when they did a review, over 5 billion were dubious. Oh, say you that know, again. So That's over 5 billion were dubious. So the, the previous government left a paper that said you owe no, these so, people so, 11 billion. So you need and to, upon verification, you need, you need 5 billion at, was dubious. You need to look dubious. at the fiscal savagery that took place previously. I like the way you put it, physical savagery. Absolutely. That's, I, mean, I don't know which way to look at it. You know, so, but that's also criminal. Shouldn't it be? And where is the attorney general? Well, I, th those are matters that we have to look into. On one instance, even Metro TV, can, can confirm this, okay? Where contracts of about 1.2 billion Ghana cities were given through YEA, okay? With, you remember Agam's group? Yes. Okay? They were given contracts that were not budgeted for within two months of, 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 of President Mills' death and uh, John Mahama taking over. They were given contracts that were not budgeted for. And out of these contracts, some of them, in one instance, 50 million loan from JIDA. In one instance, 900 million were paid. And when they were paid, Asontaba, Agam's group, were paying Metro, paying GBC, paying Crusading Guy, Daily Guy, newspapers, apart from statesmen, wouldn't benefit from it, paying them for adverts of the ruling party. So you had a situation, okay? where government issued contracts that it had no budget for, and then pays the contractor, and then the contractor goes boldly with impunity to then pay for adverts, including billboards of the government. That's how our coffers were abused. And that's why we're in this situation. That is why three, four years after discovering, after producing or becoming an oil-rich country, we have to run to the IMF for rescue. For some of these shareholders, okay, they should focus on what they were doing when they had that fiduciary duty, okay, to look after the funds of, of their depositors, not to abuse them, not to use them as their, as their piggy bank. So th that's really what happened. So you have a combination of, of, of things happening. A government that was issuing contracts, it couldn't pay for. It had no idea how it was gonna pay for. But for whatever reason, 
It was just issuing contracts. Okay. I mean, we, there's one small matter that people talk about in terms of the criteria that was used to mm -hmm. revoke the licenses of these banks, and this is capital adequacy ratio, etc. Mm -hmm. There's a concern that it's a particular bank yeah. whose status in capital adequacy ratio will be worse than some of the banks that have been closed down, but because that bank belongs to an MPP stalwart, that bank is still in place, and they point to there's, buyers. The, but that's, that's, that's actually, I, I think that's... The bias is perhaps in their appreciation of the facts. Mm -hmm. Because there are two things that you have to look at. Yeah. Okay? Five banks are being supported. Why are they being supported? Because they were run properly. But you, but you said capital adequacy ratio is a denominator. Prec no, but I'm saying... So why did you... No, they were, they were run properly, but they were... You know, there's a, there's a difference between insolvency. Mm -hmm. Okay? And good corporate governance. Absolutely. So who was assessing the corporate governance to make a determination that this was better no, than but, that? But, you know, let's, let's not... These five banks, mm -hmm. and you can mention them, UMB, and I'm not too sure you could say that there's a bias towards UMB. Huh? UMB, NIB, ADB, Prudential Bank, and what's the well, other NIB one? has been problematic and, and since 2012. Absolutely. Do, do they have a stronger capital adequacy ratio because they show us Bank of Ghana yeah. documents that show that some of these banks that are closed down had a far stronger position than say an NIB. I, I, I'm not sure I think I think really look when you when you 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 run down your your organization okay stop giving excuses 